Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Today's date is September the 30th, 2019, and this is the daily rune reading. Let's go ahead and just get started here. Today's about choices. Today's date breaks down to six. It's a lover's card. It's harmony and attraction and marriage and duality and relationships, commitment, all that kind of stuff. Let's just see what the Spirit wants to bring out here. Thank you, sweet divine. This is going to be for the next 24 hours, if I didn't say that. And I'm Shannon. This is Apex Tarot, if you're spirit. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, hey guys, welcome back. Thank you, sweet divine. What needs to be said today? What is the message straight out of heaven? Bind and block all wicked energies. Do not let them come to the surface. War after the wicked today. Hunt and chase that energy down. Bring love and light to the surface. Bring the truth out and things that need to be spoken of. War, war over the wicked who choose that way. Let the upright stand. Be steady. Grounded. Favored. Thank you, sweet divine. What do we need to know today? What's the message? What's the wisdom today for the next 24 hours? I kind of got two and I'm going to take them and that's happened before. So we have the... So there's two um, runes in here that look like an F. So we got one that looks like an F. I know you guys can't see that, but one looks like an F. And then we've got the Y uh, here. Or I'm sorry, that's a Z. All right, maybe the Y means something, person, place, or a thing, uh, first, middle, last name. The Y is the fork in the road, by the way. It's t the 25th letter of our English alphabet. And then the Z is the 26, right? And um, I don't know what this one is. The F is the 6, and today's date breaks to a 6, so there's choices. So there's a lot of energy there. So if that's special messages for anybody, so be it. This is the fourth letter of the after rune of it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, good morning. I am still having my coffee. Uh, this is the fourth letter of the runic alphabet, which is the A, but it looks like an F. Okay, and so the A in our um, alphabet is the 1, right? But anyway, this is 4. This is the Anzus. And so let me read that real quick. The, the 4 is the Emperor, right? And uh, I just did the in the first tarot reading, and it's very harsh. And so if you don't like truth uh, and you're a lying, cheating sack of crap, uh, I probably wouldn't watch that video. You probably wouldn't be able to handle what comes out on it because I'm really harsh on there. I feel that energy today and it's wartime. But anyway, this is an F and it's the fourth letter and it's the A. And uh, this is about wisdom, eloquence, inspiration, study, poetry, creativity, love, friendship, useful counsel, pray, as in P-R-E-Y, and uh, I spoke today about that, as a matter of fact, on that video. Also, it represents loot, and that there's a picture that comes out on there about somebody looting something, uh, and it's also about, uh, represents beware of debts and temptation, and that also, you know, large sums of money and insurance policies and all that kind of stuff also came out on that first reading, so... Um, it would behoove you to go watch that if you can handle really harsh talk. Sometimes that works through me that way, and I'm not going to apologize for it. So that's that first uh, rune here, and then we have the Z coming out, which is the, um, let me find it real quick in this book. One moment, please. Yes, it is. And it's, it's, it's the devil energy. It's 15, which also make a six. The choices, the lover's card. That's amazing to me. Both these come out like that. And it is the algies, I guess, whatever that is. Now, we're this being tested. We see devil like energies. And I speak about Saturn on that uh, uh, first tarot reading as well. It's amazing to me. And that's about, you know, in the tarot, the 15th. Uh, card being the devil is about banks and luxury and success and stuff like that if we're, we're going to talk about looting and, and stuff like that 
to make that connection, but it's wanting to chain you and contracts and stuff like that. That's what the devil wants. All right. Or, you know, uh, get you in bondage and restraints and lies and or truths. It's about your integrity, sexual addiction, all that kind of stuff with that energy as well. That's why today's date is vital. It's choices in that kind of stuff, attraction and stuff like that, you know, and uh, commitment and, you know, uh, unions and stuff like that, which is absolutely beautiful because the devil card is also about soulmates at the same time. That kind of stuff comes with testing and integrity and stuff like that. And sometimes, you know, uh, it's just it, it's for it's for our testing when the devil energy comes out we're just being tested at things what is, what number is this so 15 let's read this though I believe this is positive um, both of them have positive and negative things with their meaning yes this is the elk and the Saturn energy get you to the top but you do have to walk in integrity and you do have to be in truth right but this is um, also about resistance well you got to resist the devil and he'll flee from you this is also about getting help having sh a shield around you it's also about impulse and that's also devil energy and get you in that ooh, that sensual mode it, and you sign a contract in impulse you got to be careful with that kind of stuff um, this is also about recovery and a real impediment that can be overcome. We've gotten this before. It's about protection being granted. and some you got to be protected from the devil energy and know that you can stand on his damn head every time and uh, not have to worry about it. And um, And just stand. When you've done everything that you've known to do, what to do, were money situations, love situations, choices, and you've stood in your integrity, you just stand and the emperor himself will come in. Like I said, that emperor energy is found here and come in and war for you every time. We saw the emperor in the first um, reading, if I didn't say that. So, uh, again, if, uh, if you've been standing and you're just so damn frustrated at the wicked, then go watch that video because it, it's, uh, it's powerful and uh, I get really, really stern i know you guys have seen me on this channel get stern like the emperor and have to stand up because we are the emperor and empress's uh daughters and sons right in the earth realm the father figure of the universe the children underneath the zodiac and we're not gonna put up with it anymore uh either you're gonna face what people have either people gonna face what they have done or we're warring after them. We got to, guys. We got to. There are so many things that are so large, wide scale that if the, if the upright don't stand up and say, uh-uh, we're taking it back. We're going to go into the enemy's camp and we're taking it back because we're sick and tired of the lying, cheating, stealing. You guys did it for so long, you're caught. And we're going to get the world off our shoulder. I, I was talking on that video how I heard that old song, get the, uh, uh, make the world go away, get it off of my shoulder. And that's Saturn energy. It's Saturn energy. The world card is about integrity and fighting and getting our success and achievement in fighting against devil-like energy. People want to loot you and steal and cheat you and, and not confess how they feel about you. Or maybe that's you. It's time to fess up things. Or get the hell out of the earth realm because we don't want you no more. You're going to be hunted and chased and looted after now because it's ours anyway. You stole it from us in deception and it's time for the upright and the righteous to stand firm right so anyway harsh energy today but when you're warring we knew this stuff was coming uh we, we gotta speak like this to the wicked guys shalom